Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And today we're gonna do a walkthrough through the um, Garmin Instinct menu. I've had a few questions come up about certain settings and etc. So I'm gonna kind of walk through all the possibilities. And then I've also had a lot of questions about uh, my straps. So I'll do that at the end as well. Um, I'll put chapter um, breaks into the video so you can kind of skip ahead to the end if you just wanna see the straps. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way down um, and kind of go through all the menus and kind of show you all the different settings you have here. So, all right, so let's just uh, jump right into it here. So starting at the top, uh, we're gonna go into activities and apps. So this is basically where you manage your activities. You can create your favorites, kind of the ones that you, you know, do and then all the other ones are options. So kind of going through them, you got strength, bike, elliptical, uh, walk, uh, golf, fish, track me, health snapshot, pulse, uh, project, waypoints, or project waypoints, ex expedition, navigate, tactical. Uh, this is a custom one I created. Um, so this is what I use for yard work. Um, then you have some of the ones that are available i'm just not using so jump master run pool swim ski snowboard trail run treadmill virtual run indoor track hike climb bike indoor you have all the biking ones mountain bike e-bike e mountain bike cyclocross gravel bike bike commute bike tour road bike so a lot of bike ones you got open water ones triathlon you got the bouldering one um, so pretty much i think everything you can think of here um so yeah, that kind of gives you an idea on all the different activities available. Uh, edit settings is where now we can kind of jump into each activity and create, um, you know, for example, if we go to strength training, you can create your data screens. This is, you know, where you can kind of create your own data screens. You have a lot of flexibility to change the layout, what you want in each layout. Um, you can also add data screens over here. You can kind of change various settings. Like if you want to auto scroll between each one, your power manage and background. So a lot of things that you're probably used to having with Garmin, you can do it all right here. And you can do this obviously for all the activities. So that's activities and apps, notifications and alerts. Um, this is where your smart notifications for texting, um, and you can kind of specify if you want during activity or not during activity. You know, if you some people don't want them to be bothered. System alerts, um, you know, pretty self-explanatory. These are all kind of pretty common ones. You can create uh, when you want the alerts to go off or not go off. Uh, I like this one, the barometer storm alert. So if you, if you want to get notified of a potential storm incoming, that one's pretty cool. I always use that one. Um, your phone connection alert, that's if you, you know, if you lose Bluetooth connection, I'll alert you. Health and wellness, your move alert, your goals. Uh, abnormal heart rate, so this is where obviously if you're high or low. And then battery alerts, so all these are all the various system alerts. Um, appearance, so this is your watch faces and glances or widgets. And this is kind of your controls, like when you, when you hold down the button, your quick, uh, quick menu. The one thing is that watch face, as you see, you got to do that on the watch. So you can't do watch faces through the app. Um, you got to do that through the phone. But your glances or widgets, you could do through here. So, okay, moving on. Over here, you have sensors and accessories. So your wrist heart rate, you can control um, the status. If you want it during swimming, abnormal alerts. Some of these cross over, like we saw this abnormal heart rate alerts. In the notification, it also shows up here as well. And this is for broadcasting. Um, compass, if you, these are all your ABC sensors, if you need to calibrate them or have like for a barometer, you have um, how often you want the plots to be, um, what measurements you want to use. Um, actually, let me change mine to inches. So you get various settings over here as well. Okay, next one is map. So again, this doesn't really have the map, but well, it just has like, you know, your kind of breadcrumbs, but the same thing. Um, 
auto zoom, orientation, so not a whole lot here since this doesn't have all the maps that the Phoenix does. Uh, phone, so not a whole lot here as well. This is just more for alerts. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, audio prompts. So these are all kind of pretty common features that you're probably accustomed to having with Garmin. Uh, this is your user profile. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. Safety and tracking. Health and wellness. Uh, so a lot of these are kind of um, available in the other settings. Like we see heart rate again for the third time. Uh, this is where you can adjust your goals. Uh, custom stride, stride lengths and then move IQ. That's where it'll automatically kind of start tracking the exercise for you. Uh, power manager. So these are your kind of out of the box profiles. Um, you can kind of tweak them, you know, when you want the alert. Uh, these are power modes. You can kind of create your own power profiles that you want. Um, and then we get the system. So this is kind of all the system settings. So I know I've had questions about languages. So these are all the languages available. Now it says installed. So I'm not sure if that means that you can add more, um, like through the app or something. I don't know, but this is just what comes with the watch. Um, then you got your time settings, uh, backlight settings, um, hotkeys. Uh, this is basically where you designate your keys in your watch, what, the, what you want them as a secondary function. Like if you hold down one or two of them, a combination, what will happen? Um, I think that's pretty much it through here. Through here. Um, these are all, you know, pretty common settings. Nothing here. Uh, software update. No updates. And that is it for the menu. Um, so it's so, so much easier to do this all on your phone now than having to click through the watch. Um, so that was a very, I think, one, probably one of the best upgrades Garmin did with these new watches is being able to do everything through here. Particularly, my favorite one is uh, adding your activities because trying to create like the data screens is just always kind of pain in the butt. Um, and you can actually do this in real time. So, you know, as you're working out, you can jump in here and flip around the data screens. I, I know personally, there's, I've always there's always certain things in there I'm kind of curious about, like what the, what that means. So the, now during a workout, you can actually play around and put different things on there as you're working out. So pretty cool so that's it for the system menu and then over here you obviously have um, solar intensity which just measures it then you have Garmin pay which I don't use so I can't really tell you much about it other than it's there and text messages so this is where you can um, pre-program your automated responses to either text messages this is kind of all out of the box I don't really mess with this but you can add your own and then these are to for calls so if you get a call you can decline it and auto reply with one of these so that's it for the menu so let's jump into straps hey guys welcome back and part two is to talk about the strap so i've had a few comments people asking what kind of strap this is and so kind of start from the top so this is the original instinct strap so it does come in black like everyone else's and I never really liked these I talked about this in my um, gen 1 video where I don't like these straps because they kind of limit the watch's mobility like you're stuck with it you can't lay it flat so I've always liked these Phoenix ones and plus I like to change my straps around frequently and these just make it so much easier to change so these are all just basically 22 millimeter uh, bands. They're, de they're designed for the Phoenix. So a lot of times if you're searching for them, um, they're, they'll fall into the Phoenix name because of the quick fit. They, you know, these started off as Phoenix bands, but really these are 22 millimeter lugs. So any strap that's 22 millimeters will fit this. So you don't have to get specifically any kind of specific one. If it's 22 millimeters, you know, 99 chance percent, 99% chance it'll fit. So I just get these Garmin ones because you can just pop them off. There 
there you go and then if you want to throw a new color on you know like let's just say i want to go with red today so just that quickly there you go and now you've got red for the day so that's just what i get and you can get these um on amazon aliexpress for you know a few bucks each and i highly recommend them you know i think it's more comfortable on these than it is in a stock one and it gives you a lot more flexibility for colors and change them on the fly and you can get you know dual color ones like this you know, neon green and black um, you know orange got a blue this is the same thing green with like a dark green uh, this one actually is a Garmin official one um, but you can't really tell a difference the only way you can tell a difference is the Garmin ones you can kind of see have like texture here and I haven't seen any of the other ones come like that all the other aftermarket ones are kind of like smooth so the Garmin ones have that texture yeah but yeah just wanted to kind of quickly answer those questions because I know people have asked me about them but just go on Amazon um, any eBay whatever and just type in 22 millimeter uh, quick fit strap you know Phoenix strap any any keyword you should get a bunch of these pop up um, I actually ordered a few more, so I should have um, have those coming. So I think I, I bought like six more um, different colors to add. So I'll post those. The other thing I kind of wanted to bring up as well is one of these straps. So um, I occasionally uh, wear mine on my ankle. And the reason for that is because I'm also... You know, a watch collector, I have a whole collection of actual real watches that I like to wear sometimes, but I still want to retain my data. So what I'll do is I'll wear this around my ankle for the day um, if I'm wearing one of my, you know, real watches. Um, I also would wear this one, surprisingly, I'm actually able to sleep with. Uh, my Phoenix, I was not. So the Phoenix I had to wear around my ankle to get sleep data. But if you ever want to wear it around your ankle, I found these work the best. This is called a paratrooper NATO strap. And basically what you do with these is you just put it on like this. Fish it through here. Other end. And then you take this little uh, bracket to lock it. And this, you, can, you can use this to adjust kind of your width, but then you loop it around your ankle. And boom and it stays securely around your ankle make it a little snug and it's not going to come off so this is actually what, what i use um, occasionally if i have to wear it around my ankle and honestly i feel like the readings are just as good i mean the steps i feel like more accurate because um you know sometimes when you walk if you have your hands in your pocket or you're not moving your hands enough you might not get your steps but on your ankle i feel like it always registers every step so yeah so this is just a quick update on the strap so let's go with red today and a quick update on the screen protector too because i'm sure people have been asking so here is about a few days into it uh, it's gotten better but it's still kind of got that orange peel glare on it so again it doesn't straight on you can't tell it's just more when you kind of tilt it um people have been asking about you know the whole solar thing does it impact it um you know honestly i'm you know, I'm in the belief that it does affect it. I think anything you put in front of it will affect it. It's just to what degree, I don't know. I don't have any scientific tools to test it, um, but it doesn't bother me. I, you know, I got it more for protection. So for me, it's staying, but yeah, hopefully this video helps you out with some other questions and thanks as always for tuning in. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys.